Hey, it's Wizard Fu, and you're watching another video in the Low Dragger 5 vs. 5 game development series. Welcome to another video. I'm excited to announce that I've finally got the 3D switch flipped again, and Low Dragger is again 3D. It's been about two months of doing two dimensional mock up gameplay, and what's great about that is it easily transfers over to the 3D once you flip the switch. So, check it out. Here we have the three-dimensional gameplay going. Um, I've turned off all the bots and the creep spawner and things like that, so all we have is just the hero. The hero probably that you control will not start with a sword and probably won't look like this. You'll be able to customize the hero to look how you want. Uh, but for now, I've just got an image of Rock from Songbringer going. In This is basically a voxel model that's running in 3D and what you're seeing here is a pixel buffer object so basically this is a software renderer it's only 420 by 240 pixels for this screen and uh, it's basically what it's doing is it's faster it's actually faster for it to um, just be a software renderer than it is to try and render every single one of those tiny voxels with six or more um, different faces right no, three, at least three different faces. Gosh, that took a lot of CPU and GPU itself just to do that. So you can see there's still a few different um, bugs and things like that going. Like when I sometimes turn a little bit too much, you'll leave behind some stuff. So what's happening here is that um, when it, whenever an entity moves, that's a, one of these 3D models, it has to go and erase the voxels that it was was using because we're, this is basically all buffered into a render texture. You can think of it as a render texture. It's actually a render texture that efficiently goes to the GPU using a pixel buffer object. Um, but basically it's just a render texture. It's just a block of memory. And whenever the, the rendering voxel engine decides that there needs to be a voxel d drawn at a certain point, it goes and... Um, it just renders that pixel inside the render texture. Um, there's, you know, there's more issues than just than than there are. <laughs> there's a lot of issues right now. Basically, like for example, when you when you look uh, when he's standing right there, his um, his sword dis one pixel row of his sword disappears. So there's a little bit there's issues here and there I need to deal with to get it to all look right. And also I want the camera to be able to rotate. That'll be super sweet to be able to kind of rotate your camera around. It will. Um, that'll actually show off the 3D nature of all this a lot better too. Um, but one, another one of the issues I'm dealing with is um, since the entity has to erase the voxels where it was and then redraw all the voxels around it, um, that's why I've got these little blue um, boxes around um, some of the entities here. There's one around the, the rock there. There's some around these white pillory objects. And then there's a few around the... Um, trees down there at the origin those that these bl brown blobs are actually trees uh for now um so i'm trying to trying to get it so that uh i know exactly what the the bounding box is in two dimensions for every one of these three-dimensional characters that's what those blue rectangles are it's trying to represent okay these are the pixels that this is uh, uh taking up in two dimensions um you can see there's some issues there too so when i rotate the hero in different directions the box isn't quite lining up perfectly, and also it seems to be delayed by a little bit. The character moves, and then the box moves. So, anyways, lots of issues, but this is actually monumental progress uh, in for making this game and getting it to a prototype phase slash alpha phase because, um, gosh, just two weeks, you know, just actually earlier this week, it was just entirely a two-dimensional mock-up. So hooray, this is great progress. There's lots left to do though. And um, and uh, and it won't even look good either until the, the shaders are in. Um, the shaders will make a huge difference in making this look really beautiful. So lots to do, but progress has been made. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.